Elon Musk has been wanting to build a home HVAC system for quite a while now, as he even went as far as to state that he is dying to make one. For the typical automaker like Ford or GM, this would be a ridiculous move, but for Tesla, it's something that they have been developing for quite a while. For those of you not too knowledgeable about HVACs, HVAC stands for heating, ventilating, and air conditioning. In this video, I am going to discuss why I believe Tesla has a lot of potential to disrupt the HVAC sector and why the product will make billions. Before I begin, I've noticed that 94% of you aren't subscribed yet, so please take a moment and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Many people are becoming more aware of the air quality inside their homes. The current market share for air purifiers is $8 billion and is growing at an annual rate above 10%. There are more and more studies being released on how air pollution leads to a vast amount of sicknesses. If there's anything that people should be frugal on, recent studies are showing that certainly isn't home HVACs. Tesla is known for taking advantage of growing markets, which makes the HVAC sector extremely appealing for Tesla. Many investors assume that Tesla is a car manufacturer which simply isn't true. To a lot of people, Apple is considered as a phone company, but the company sells plenty of other products like AirPods, keyboards, mouses, and many more. These are all interconnected with the Apple ecosystem, similar to how Tesla is looking to develop its own ecosystem. In order to sell well, an HVAC must have four key criteria. It must be energy efficient, quiet, effective at filtering particulate matter, and compete with pricing. Tesla's new HVAC will not only succeed at these four key criteria, but go above and beyond. Tesla has a wide range of products in its ecosystem, including Tesla vehicles, solar panels, and power walls. The addition of the HVAC in this ecosystem will be utilized in a way where the product's efficiency will be at its maximum extent. Elon Musk has suggested that the HVAC system could work with Tesla vehicles to save energy, as it can set the house at the perfect temperature and humidity right when your vehicle arrives home. The Tesla ecosystem is currently managed with the Tesla app, and with the HVAC, this won't be any different. Let's say nobody is at your home and won't be for quite a while. All you have to do is turn the HVAC on or off with a simple switch in the Tesla app. This may seem like a simple idea, but the amount of energy that would be saved is seriously monumental. HVACs currently use 48% of the energy in the average household, so cutting down on this energy would have a large effect on your living expenses. Tesla's HVAC will without a doubt be quiet, as their in-car HVAC makes little to no sound already. Tesla's Model S and X currently have a feature named the Bioweapon Defense Mode. This name may be over-exaggerated, but studies have shown that the filtration system is seriously top of the line. This is a graph displaying the effectiveness of the Bioweapon Defense Mode in the Model X. Outside of the Model X, the PM2.5 concentration is nearing the 1000 level. Even being at the center of the largest wildfires doesn't even have a PM2.5 concentration that high. As you can see on the right hand side, there isn't even a name for how high the PM2.5 concentration was outside the Model X, and hopefully there won't ever be. Just 2 minutes after the doors in the Model X were closed, the air quality had already reached a level of good quality. If there's ever a significant amount of pollution nearby, the bioweapon defense mode will make it look like there's nothing. However, most of us don't spend much time in our vehicles. Rather, we spend the majority of our time at home. Even if the filtering was half of the level of the Model X, the amount of benefits that would come with clean air would be unimaginable. In a hypothetical situation, let's say there's a virus spreading around the globe that YouTube will continue to censor. There certainly won't be any viruses spreading around the air, especially with the level of filtering Tesla can provide. Now, we designed the car well before recent events. <laughs> so. So it just happens, just happens to have, a, you know, there's recent events have um, illustrated the importance of, of air safety. Um, and we have with the Model X the first, uh, the first true HEPA filter in a car. 
So, and, and, and why, do, why is it important to have a, a particulate filter? Why is it important to have a, um, a gas filter in the car? Um, it's because the, the, this translates to a real, ch a real change in life expectancy. So these, these are the most conservative numbers we could find on the internet, like the most conservative. They go way worse than this. This is basically the least bad thing that would happen if you lived in these cities. So, and, and now let's take a look at the filters themselves. You can, I, I want to show you just how much of a difference this is. The, 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 top, the top one is our primary air filter. The, the one on the left and the bottom is our secondary air filter. The one on the right is a normal car air filter. I think we've got some of those here. So, th this, is, this is what a normal car filter looks like. It's really, really quite small. Um, this is the... This is the primary air filter of the Model X. And this is the, sec this is the secondary air filter. Our secondary air filter is bigger than the primary air filter of a typical car. So the, and, and not, not only is it 10 times larger area, but the, the quality of the filter is greater. So that translates to a, a several hundred fold improvement in the filtration capability. It is 300 times better at filtering bacteria, 500 times better at allergens, 700 times better at sort of smog, and 800 times better at filtering viruses. And, and this is on a bad day. So this is the minimum passing grade when it's just operating and it's at, at its worst. So, and, yeah. <clears throat> so the, in addition to, to the, the particle filters, we have three layers of, of active carbon. So we've got uh, one universal adsorbent layer, that's the initial layer. Um, then we've got another activated carbon layer that's meant for acid gases, and another one for alkaline gases. The, the net effect of, of the uh, air filtration system uh, is that you have air cleanliness levels which are comparable to a hospital operating room in the car. And And, and in fact, when the car is operating, when the car is operating at its uh, at, at maximum capability, so if 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 you sort of press max max capability in the car, we can't even detect uh, any viruses or bacteria or spores. So it's like zero, come through. So if 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 there's ever if if there's ever sort of a, a apocalyptic scenario <laughs> of some kind, <laughs> hypothetically. You just press the bioweapon defense mode button. <laughs> this is a real button. <laughs> One Twitter user went out and stated that so many people with allergies that suffer chronically, you would change their lives truly. This really got me thinking about pet allergies. Many pet owners suffer from chronic allergies. But with a better filtration system, the impact this would have would be monumental. This is a way bigger deal than most people realize. With the amount of power a Tesla Home HVAC has, the HVAC certainly will not be cheap. However, Tesla will be able to compete with pricing over the long run by being the most energy efficient. Sure, the initial payments may be costly, but similar to solar panels and electric vehicles, the price will pay off over time. Tesla's HVAC will sell well because of the fact that it succeeds at these four criteria. But as we all know, Tesla is a company that goes above and beyond. And this is where water condensation comes into play. Elon Musk has stated that the Tesla HVAC could maybe tap the condensation for water too. Seems odd that HVAC systems make pure fresh water and just dump it on the ground. Many of you may think this is a ridiculous idea. Why would we want to drink water as contaminated as an HVAC? On a humid day, an HVAC can drip up to 2 gallons of water, accumulating from the process of dehumidifying. The reason why the water from HVACs are unsafe to drink is because it may contain a bacteria named Legionella. However, this water can be purified by doing processes like boiling the water. By boiling water, you can kill bacteria and other organisms in a matter of minutes. In hindsight, 
Musk's idea of drinking water from HVACs may seem like a rather ridiculous feature. Because of this, I wouldn't be surprised if Elon and Tesla's engineers are able to find a way to make this work. Overall, Tesla's upcoming home HVAC will be far superior to others because it will be energy efficient, quiet, effective, and compete with pricing over the long run. Tesla's home HVAC will make billions. Let me know what you think about Tesla's upcoming home HVAC in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps out with the channel.